Hello, and welcome to Hirakata City in Osaka Prefecture. And here we are at Hirakata Koen Station on the Keihan Main Line. You can see it's KH20. And if you go toward Osaka, the next station is Kozenji. And if you go toward Kyoto, the next station is Hirakata Shi Station. And so Hirakata Koen is famous for the amusement park, the theme park here in Hirakata. And uh, we're going to start here in the station and we're going to walk over to the theme park. So you can see the Four Seasons at Hirakata Park. Okay, so here we are in front of the station. You can see they have bus connections here. So we're going to take a walk over to uh, to the theme park. Lots of information here. So just 300 meters away, we'll be there. Okay, so just a little information about the uh, about the train station. Uh, again, it's uh, KH9. Uh, sorry, KH20, and it's on the Keihan Main Line in Hitakata City in Osaka Prefecture. As you can see, there are two platforms inside. Uh, platform number one is for the trains going to Kyoto. And uh, platform number two is for the trains going to Osaka. And uh, the next station going toward Osaka would be Kozenji Station, which I have another video. If you want to check that out, you can see the area around Kozenji Station. And then the next station is uh, Hirakata Shi Station, which is the main station in Hirakata City. And I have a video about that station as well. 
so the uh, local semi express sub express and the commuter sub express and the express all of those trains stop here at uh, Hitakata Coin Station. And this station opened in uh, the year 1910, just over 100 years ago, <clears throat> on April 15th. And at that time, it was called Hitakata Station. And then they changed the name in 1949. And uh, in 2018, about just over 18,000 people every day pass through uh, that station. So it's a, uh, even though it's not a huge station, it's quite popular, especially because of uh, this theme park here. And so uh, maybe you can notice, compared to the size, there are more convenience stores and restaurants than normal. And of course, it's because of all the traffic that flows between the station and the, uh, the theme park. On the other side of the station, I'm not going to go there because I have other videos where I went there. But uh, you can see the Yodogawa River Park uh, and Route 170, which passes between uh, Hirakata and uh, Takatsuki. And that's the Hirakata Ohashi, the bridge that connects Hirakata with Takatsuki. And then there's also the Kagiya Museum, which is on the Hirakata Shuku which again, I have a video of that. And actually this weekend, I'm going to be going to the uh, Kagiya Museum, going inside and actually learning more about the traditional houses on uh, Hirakata Shuku. There's also a Hirakata Elementary School and a post office here in this area. But of course, this is the main reason people come here. It's Hirakata Park. And uh, in Japanese, they call it Hirapa and uh, Hirakata Koen, and Koen means park, but they make it short, they say Hirapa. And I'm not sure, maybe it's closed. Obviously, uh, coronavirus. And in the distance in the back, you can see the, uh, the big Ferris wheel there. So just a little information about uh, this uh, theme park here. It is actually the oldest amusement park in Japan. And it opened in the year 1910. It does look like it's open, maybe? Okay, so this is the oldest amusement park in Japan. Opened back in 1910 and Normally, of course, this year or last year is not a normal year, but uh, it attracts about 1.2 million visitors a year. And um, it's been able to survive a lot of different situations economically. Uh, so in 1965, they opened up a public pool for people to enjoy uh, swimming in the summer. And then in 1972, they opened an ice skating rink and that's open in the winter time. And then in 1988, they opened the Red Falcon uh, roller coaster, which is uh, about 1,300 meters or 4,300 feet long. And it gets up to 70 kilometers an hour or 43 miles per hour. And then, uh, of course, as you can see uh, in the back there, that Ferris wheel. You can see that Ferris wheel from really far away outside of Hirakata. And that opened back in 1991. Uh, another attraction is uh, the Elf roller coaster. It's 695 meters or 2,220 feet long, and it gets up to 58 kilometers an hour or 36 miles per hour. It has 45 attractions here, 
and it covers about 40 acres or about 160,000 square meters. And then finally, the last thing is uh, back in 2001, about 20 years ago in Osaka, Universal Studios opened, USJ, Universal Studios Japan. They opened and that really hurt a lot of the amusement parks here in uh, the Kansai area. And of course, Tokyo Disneyland opened and uh, a lot of theme parks really suffered a lot of economic damage. But uh, Hirakata Park has survived, even with uh, Universal Studios. <clears throat> They've managed to survive. I think they went into debt for some time. And then they managed to get out of debt. And uh, it's still doing quite well. So uh, this is a Tuesday afternoon during the coronavirus. So uh, obviously not many people here today. But um, on a regular, maybe on the weekend after uh, coronavirus, there would be many, many people here. So anyway, this is one of the main attractions uh, here in Hirakata City. And I've been here and it's a pretty good amusement park. And uh, maybe if I go in someday, uh, I might make a video of inside the park. But it's a pretty good park to visit. If you have a chance, please come and visit. Alright, well this is the end of the video. Again, that's Hirakata Koen Station. And we're at Hirakata Park. This is one of the train stations here in uh, Hirakata City. Okay, so I think that's about it for today. Um, uh, again, I'm making the videos of all the train stations here in Hirakata City. I've made one of Kozenji, Hirakata Shi, and then today uh, Hirakata Koen. So uh, if you like it, please click the like button, subscribe. I'll be making more videos of train stations here in Hirakata City. And um, yeah, if you're interested in Japanese culture, history, food, temples, shrines, anything like that, this is a good place, a good channel for you. So. Uh, Anyway, leave a comment down below if there's something you have to say, something you want to share. If you have a good memory from the theme park, let us know. I'd love to hear from you. Okay, so that's all for today. Have a great day, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.